Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I wanna talk about your internet presence and social media as you're going through your job search process. This is kind of a fun one, I like it because it's super, super, super important. Uh, so I'm bringing you up to speed real quick. I uh, wrote a book about eight years ago, kind of goes through uh, job hunting, resume building, interview prep in a healthcare world. It's called Your Job Search Is Over. I was showing it to a buddy the other day at work, looked at it, he goes, man, this looks pretty good. So I figured I got myself a YouTube channel right. So let's go through, kind of give you guys some good pieces from the book so that hopefully this can help with your job search. So let's get started. I like this one a lot um, because it's super, it's crazy important that depending on whatever position you're in for, you got to keep yourself clean. You got to keep yourself uh, almost spotless on the internet, which is hard to do, which is very hard to do because Facebook's been around since about 2007. Uh, Twitter's been around, I want to say about 10, 15 years as well, plus some other stuff, TikTok, YouTube, all these other things, blogs, um, and Google Images, you got to check too. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these things. Um, I'll give you a personal example right off the bat. So this is years ago, when I was working in a hospital, and one of the students came in, and before she was a student, she was actually a model nothing wrong with that it was up and up modeling nothing weird about it but before I even got to really meet her people were running around with their phones going oh you gotta look at this you gotta look at it nothing abnormal nothing crazy just her in a bikini because she was a legitimate model however what that did going forward was a lot of people kind of looked at her different it's not fair to her at all right there's nothing fair about that but um, you always got to keep that in the back of your mind and if you don't look like a model, you definitely want to like kind of clean up your social media a little bit. So let's go through it first. Uh, Facebook. Now, as of 2021, when I'm making this, Facebook has certain ways that they do things. They change their privacy policies all the time. They change the way the tagging policies work all the time. What I would do personally, and this is what I've done, just make your, your everything on your Facebook private. Nobody can see your stuff unless they're your friend. So what they should they be able to see? They probably should be able to see your profile picture and that's about it maybe like a couple little informations about you because what this does and i'll tell you so my my dad used to be an accountant at his office especially the last few years they would get kids coming out of college and everybody would come dressed up for the interview they look nice and professional and since they were an accounting firm they wanted their employees to be professional employees to be respectable so the first thing they do after an interview if they found someone they liked is they go okay let's hop on let's go take a look at their facebook and time and time again, they'd find people who, who came in with these very professional attitudes. They'd find crazy pictures of them online doing wild stuff. Now, Facebook over time has become more, I think, uh, I think it's more of an older generation thing. So maybe it's not so much anymore for kids, but other things like TikTok, Twitter, and so on. So same goes for Twitter. Twitter posts are visible to pretty much anything. So if you can get on Twitter, you can see someone's past tweets. Unless that's changed, I don't know. Again, the same rules apply, especially to Twitter, because you can dig up old tweets. This happens to people all the time. So what I would do, keep it clean. Right now, go back. If there's not a tweet on there that you would show like your employer, I wouldn't do it. And the same thing goes for Facebook too. Uh, HIPAA, if you're going into the medical world, is huge. HIPAA stands for Health Information Portability and Accountability Act. What that means is once you sign a piece of paper at a hospital or a place for HIPAA Act or any kind of... Um, non-disclosure stuff don't be putting inappropriate things on the internet i know it sounds lame don't go taking pictures of customers don't go complaining about them don't take pictures of patients of them on them it's a horrible idea horrible idea okay so uh same thing with twitter make sure that's all cleaned up blogs i know blogs aren't a big thing anymore people used to write blogs and put all sorts of opinions up again the same thing if you're going to put something up it's got to be something safe that an employer would be able to see and go, oh, that makes sense. For example, on YouTube, all these videos I make, um, if an employer saw them, I think they'd say, oh, that's good information. I'm not saying anything outlandish. I'm not saying anything inappropriate. I'm not saying anything politically inappropriate. I just want to give out good information that people can use. Now, it's up to you however you want to do it. But I will say, um, if you do it now and as time goes by and try to keep it clean and keep things maintained, Boy, you don't want to be one of those people five years down the road, 10 years down the road, where you're applying to your dream job, and all of a sudden, 
you get a call that says, oh, no, we're not interested. You go, why? They say, oh, we looked up some stuff. We found some weird tweets or some odd pictures online. Another one to check. And this is a weird one that you don't think about. Uh, what about Googling yourself? Just straight up Google or Google images. Uh, you really, It's actually kind of impressive that you can find yourself on Google images. So I do recommend that. And then the last thing, um, I personally, I use, I guess I haven't applied for a job in a long time and I'm very happy where I'm at now. So I'm not going to, but um, Career Builder, Monster, Indeed, all those places, don't post your resume on there. That's super lame. It is like the laziest way to do it. And it gets you the wrong kind of people calling you, bugging you, and trying to recruit you. It, it, I've hardly ever talked to anybody who has posted their stuff on there and then the magic job shows up. It's usually you going out and finding the job. A lot of this in the course we go through, or not, I don't have a course. A lot of this in the book and everything else we can just kind of go through step by step how to do it. So don't post on those sites. Uh, so let's kind of go through just a quick checklist. So if you're sitting at home, you're saying, Chris, you sound so lame and so um, unfun. But let's go through it right now. So have you Googled yourself and have you gone through your Google images? If so, you're good. Um, let's see. And if you do find yourself on there somehow, get on there, find the owner of the website. If you don't want to be up there and tell them to take it down, okay? Or at least untag you from the image. Same thing. Go through your Facebook right now. Look at all those images. Are any of those inappropriate for like applying for a professional job? Um, let's see. Same thing with Twitter. Same thing with TikTok. Same thing with YouTube. Are any of those pieces of, on there um, something you wouldn't want an employer to see? And then lastly, start changing everything to pro, uh, every uh, social media platform that you can. Start changing it to private on your Instagram. Just change it to private. That way people can't go through your photos unless you want them to. It's going to save you a big time headache later. Um, the last thing I think a lot of people don't realize is uh, up on the top of your resume, when you put your contact information, you usually put an email, right? So now is the time right now, if you are applying for jobs or looking for other jobs, get yourself a professional signing email. Okay, good email. John Doe 12 at gmail.com. Fine. Bad one would be big mom 11 at gmail.com. <laughs> Again, just put a professional one. It's so easy. It's, in fact, I'm, I'm giggling that the fact that I would have to say that, but there are people who put weird email addresses and put weird stuff on the contact information of the resume. So just don't even do that. Okay. If you have anything that you would consider a bad email address, just go get one right now. Gmail's free. Just go get a Gmail address and that should do it. Okay. So you follow those things, get it cleaned up, Go check out your internet presence right now. Make sure untag stuff if it's unprofessional or at the least set all your social media to private. If it's something you wouldn't want an employer to see now, take it down. I know it sucks, but I think over a long term, you're going to be very happy if, if you can get the jobs you want and you don't have to worry about someone looking at your former internet presence on there. Okay. Uh, all this stuff's in my book. If you want it, uh, you can buy it on Kindle. I'll leave the link in the description. You want it for free, just email me. Uh, emails in the description. Uh, my Twitter handles in the description. I get a Google form if you want to give some feedback. Uh, fill that out. Say hey, I want the I want the book, and leave yourself your email address. I'll send it to you. There you go. Get yourself a book. I think it's like 179 pages. I'm looking at it right now. Um, it's a PDF, so anybody can read it. I uh, hope that helps. Hope that uh, can get you further along in your job hunt process. Good luck, and thanks for watching.